Good morning. Today I've got a different boat to test out. This is the, I believe it's the 41 foot Juno. And the first thing I want to do is, just for grins, I want to run the anchor drill and see, I'm looking down at the anchor locker here, I want to run the anchor drill and see if I can do it in 35 seconds on a 35 foot boat. Does that mean I can only do this in 41 seconds on a 41 foot boat? And I'm talking about deploying the anchor in the most perfect conditions. I'm tied to the dock. I know that the power is on to the batteries. I know that the windlass is engaged and working. So there's nothing, nothing unusual about this. It's not that I have to get the wind channel out, nothing like that. It's just simply a get the anchor on the bottom, give a pause, get the rest of it on the bottom. So let's see how long this takes. I'm gonna head back to the helm. I'm gonna start a timer from there and come running forward and see how quick I can do it. Okay, this morning's anchor drill is on a different boat. This is a 41 foot Chino, so I'm going to check and see how long does it take me to get from the stern to the bow and get the anchor out. On the past, on the 35 footers, I've done it in about um, 33, 35, 36, 39 seconds, somewhere in that range. So I'm curious if the added footage is going to mean that it takes me closer to 41 seconds. I don't think we can make a correlation like that, like it's going to take 100 seconds on a 100 foot boat. But I'm just kind of curious to see. So I'm going to head back to the cockpit. I'm going to give the signal that I am, you know, uh, need to anchor. <laughs> and I'm going to run up here and get the anchor over. So here goes. seconds. Actually it looks like 34 because I couldn't get the I couldn't press it fast enough. What I learned there was it takes about the same amount of time because it turns out on the bigger boat the path forward is a lot more clear. So although I did it this time on a 41 foot boat instead of a 35 foot boat, it turned out that it took just about the same amount of time, about 33 or 34 seconds, and that would be because there's no obstructions in the way. So, hope you found this useful. I hope you practiced this yourself. This was just kind of a fun one. Uh, this was practicing getting the anchor over when everything is all conditions are perfect. Uh, conditions might not be perfect. If you actually need to anchor, there's a pretty good chance that the reason is because your engine quit. And if your engine quit, is your windless one that has to have the engine running for it to operate? Do you have to have the control panel on? Do you need to have power to the windless? What if you lose power to the windless and you've actually got to pull out that winch handle and release the brake and do all of that? How long is it going to take you then? So thanks for watching. Bye.